Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this tip, we're going to be going over some examples on how to solve combined work word problems. All right, before we get started taking a look at some examples, I'm going to go over the formula that we're going to be using um, to solve the problems, okay? Now, this is a simplified formula that really uh, makes the whole process of computing combined times to carry out a job um, very easy, okay? So let's say um, TA is the time for person A to complete a job, time for person A to complete a job, and then T sub B as the time for uh, takes for person B to complete the same job. And then we have T sub T as a time for both persons A and B, A and B to complete the job together, okay? Complete the job together. So um, in the problems we're going to be looking at today, I'll give you a scenario where you have the time that one person does a job, the time that a second person does a job, and you'll be asked to find how much time that they would spend to do the same job if they worked together, okay? Or I will give you the time that they spend finishing the job together, the time that one person spends doing that job working alone, and I'll ask you to find the time that it takes the other person to do the job working alone. Okay, so what is the relationship? Well, this is the formula right here. Time spent if they're working together on a job is equal to the product of their times. <clears throat> so the time for A times the time for B divided by the sum of their times, okay? time A plus time B. Now this is for two people. Let's say you have three people. All you just have to do is you just add time C to the top, multiply, and then, I mean, multiply time C to the top and then add time C to the bottom. So you multiply upstairs and you add downstairs. Um, basically we're working with the value of the times for each individual person, okay? So this is a formula that we're going to be using uh, for our examples today. All right, let's go ahead and consider uh, this example. Question number one, it says, Cody can tar a roof in nine hours. Rob can tar the same roof in 10 hours. How long will it take them if they worked together? Okay, so let's declare our variable. So TA, time for, um, uh, who's the first person? Cody. Cody's time is nine hours, working alone. And um, Rob's time is 10 hours. And what are we looking for? The time together, okay? Cody and Rob. That one is a question mark. We don't know what that is. Okay, so we're gonna be making use of the formula that we um, wrote earlier. So the time together is equal to time per person A, times time for person B divided by time for person A plus time for person B. Okay, so in, in this scenario, person A is Cody and person B is Rob. So we're gonna apply that formula here. So time for Cody and Rob working together is equal to time for Cody times time for Rob divided by the sum of the times, time for Cody plus time for Rob, all right? So we're just gonna do a substitution here. Time for Cody is nine hours. Um, we're gonna multiply that by the time for Rob, which is 10, divided by the sum of your times, nine plus 10, okay? So that's the time if they work together. 
So that's going to yield 19 over 19. And then this is the exact answer. Um, hours, but if you want to put it in decimal form, it is final call calculators, and then we compute 90 divided by 19, which is 4.7365. Okay, so that's the time working together. Um, let's put it back up. Where's my calculator? So the time is going to be 4.7365. Seven three six eight. So it's approximately four point seven three six eight. Okay, so let's um, write down the answer in a sentence. The time. The time it takes um, them if they work together. Together. is 4.7368 hours. Okay, so there goes your answer. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at question number two. It reads, working alone, it takes Willie 11 hours to pick 40 bushels of apples. JD can pick the same amount in 10 hours. How long will it take them if they work together? Okay. So we have time for Willie is 11 hours and um, time for JD is what, 10 hours. So we are asked to find the amount of time it will take for Willie and JD to complete the job if they work together, okay? So we remember our formula for time together is equal to time for person A times time for person B divided by time for person A plus time for person B, okay? So that's the formula we're going to be using. If we apply it to this scenario, we have the time it'll take for Willie and JD together. That's gonna equal time for Willie times time for JD divided by time for Willie plus time for JD, okay? So all you do, remember, is you multiply the times and then you divide that by the sum of the times. So we're going to have um, 11 plus 10 divided, actually it's times, times goes on the top. So 11 times 10 divided by, and the sum goes on the bottom, 11 plus 10, okay? So we have... Um, 110 divided by 21. That's the exact answer. Um, but let's find what the decimal approximation is. All right, so I have my calculator up. So we are going to compute 110 divided by 21. We have 5.2381 hours. So it's approximately 5.2381. Okay, let's contextualize our result. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, the time. The time it will take. Willie and JD. Um, if they work together. Together is what? Together is 5.2381 hours. Okay? So that's basically that. All right, let's take a look at question number three. This one is going to be slightly different, okay? I'm going to go ahead and read the problem and see if you can see the difference between this particular question and problems number one and two. All right, so it reads, working together, Daniel and Beth can mop at warehouse in 4.44 hours. Had she done it alone, it would have taken Beth 10 hours. Find how long it would take Daniel to do it alone. So do you see the difference here? In problems one and two, we were finding how long it would take for them to uh, complete the job when they're working together. But in this problem, we've been given the combined time and at times, for one of them, and we're asked to find 
the um, other time. Okay, um, we're going to be using the same formula to solve this problem. Um, so in this case, we have time for Daniel alone, we don't know. Time for Beth alone is uh, 10 hours. And then time for Daniel and Beth, the combined time is 4.44 hours. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and write down the formula and then adapt it to this uh, scenario. All right, so the formula again is time together is equal to time person A times time for person B, the product divided by the sum time for person A plus time for person B. In this situation, we have time for together is Daniel and Beth equals the product of the time for Daniel times the time for Beth divided by the time for Daniel plus the time for Beth. Okay, now that we've applied the formula to this scenario, let's go ahead and make some substitutions. The combined time is 4.44. Time for Daniel, we do not know, so we'll leave it alone as TD. Time for Beth is 10. Of that product there divided by time for Daniel plus time for Beth, which is 10. Okay, now this isn't as easy as the other one to simplify. We have to use some algebra here. So since we have two fractions, what we're going to do is cross multiply. The bottom left to the top right, the bottom right to the top left. If we cross multiply, we are going to have 4.44 times time for Daniel plus 10 equals time for Daniel times 10, which we can write as 10 times time for Daniel. Okay, so 10 times time for Daniel. Okay, now what we're going to do is solve this equation for time for Daniel. To do this, we're going to distribute, okay? So distribute 4.44 to these two terms. And then that's going to give us 4.44 times time for Daniel plus 4.44 times 10. Now, what 10 is going to do is it's going to move the decimal point to the right one place. So it's going to be 44.4. You can verify that with your calculators, okay? Equals 10 times time for Daniel. Now, we're going to collect like terms. Um, this term right here and this term alike terms, they're both variables in terms of time for Daniel. So we want to collect them to the same side so we can get the time for Daniel isolated. To do that, I'm going to subtract 4.44 times the time for Daniel from both sides of the equation. Okay, so if we do that. Let's see what happens. On the left side, we have some cancellation action happening there. This adds up to zero. So we have 44.4 equals, now 10 minus 4.44. Let's do that with our calculators real quick. So 10 minus 4, that will give you 6 and 18.44. Uh, so that will give you 0.756. So 4.44. Five point five six. So we have five point five six times the time for Daniel. Okay, how do we finish this problem up? To get time for Daniel isolated, we just simply divide both sides by the coefficient of time for Daniel, which is five point five six on both sides of the equation. This divides out. So time for Daniel is the result you get when you evaluate the value of this quotient right here. So let's go ahead and see what that is. We have 44.4 divided by 5.56. And your answer is 7.9856. OK, so 7.9856. What does this answer mean in the context of this problem?
Uh, let's go ahead and see what the, the answer means. It will take Daniel. It will take Daniel about 7.9856 hours to do what? To complete the job. If he were working alone, okay? If he were working alone. So that's the final answer. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of algebra, uh, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable and supportive to us. If you have any questions about this presentation, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to um, respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.